Uh, mm -hmm. So, and then we move to Terry uh, Gordy. Week, week number three. That's one that I'm looking forward to quite extensively. And mm -hmm. I, I, I know we did this. I'm not uh, trying to shoehorn myself into all these things. I know that we talked about Terry at length when yeah. we shot, but who were you able to get and how much fun was that putting together? Go back, watch some of that old footage. Oh, I mean, Terry Gordy is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Um, and it was an honor to do this episode, something we actually have wanted to do for a very long time in some capacity, either a Terry Gordy show or a, a fabulous Freebirds show is something that's always been super high on our list uh, to do. Um, and it took it, it, it was, um, you know, reaching out to the Gordy family and, and wanting to make sure that they wanted to, this to happen, to participate in it, which they did. Uh, so the episode features uh, both of his children, uh, Ray Gordy and, and of course, Miranda Gordy, who's a wrestler yeah. nowadays, um, and yourself. This is, uh, you know, Jim Cornette's first appearance in season five. Um, and uh, we talked to Kevin Sullivan. We talked to David Manning, uh, of course, the ref from World Class. Uh, Jimmy Garvin is in the episode. Uh, Mick Foley is in the episode. Um, and I think one of his friends who was on that fateful flight where Terry had the the big overdose oh, that uh, yeah. yeah, which of course is the incident that sort of changed his personality. Um, but uh, it was it was awesome to be able to go back to watch all the footage to highlight his time in Japan. I mean, watching his matches in Japan. I mean, there's nothing like it. And um, y you know, uh, the sp being able to spotlight the the greatest tag team name ever in wrestling uh is when he you know teamed with dr death and they were the miracle violence connection <laughs> my favorite tag name ever um amazing stuff to see that a lot of footage of, of of dr death like that you know uh um that we used uh in terms of like interviews he's given um about terry there's interviews terry's given that is in there um and well, you but know the, it, the thing about terry is that the start of his career perfectly coincided with the start of the videotape era mm. where people were just starting to get the VHS machine. So you've got the, and the IWA saved their footage. So you can see Terry Mecca when he was 14 years old. And of course you can't see anything from the Culkins in Mississippi where he really, mm -hmm. you know, started growing up, but then there's the, you know, the Freebirds debut on Memphis television and you can, uh, then when you go to Japan, you can see he was literally growing up in front of our eyes because when we first when we first saw him here in this territory, he was 16 years old, mm -hmm. and then he's 18 and he's a free bird, and then they're in the Superdome, and then he's going to Japan. By the time he's 22 years old, he's <laughs> but he was six what four and and uh, 250 when he was 16, so. He he grew up in terms of his career and his talent and his blossoming blossoming as a worker, but mm -hmm. he was always a fucking big fucking kid from Chattanooga. Yeah, and that's something we do highlight too. Is that, I mean, I think he is one of the youngest people to break into professional wrestling. Uh, because I know he was working well before he could legally drive. I think right was it yeah. like fourteen or something? Yeah. So you see that, and that's amazing and then yeah by the time he's 18 he's like you know he's <laughs> fully formed and kicking ass and uh obviously with the uh the overdose that he suffered you know on the trip to japan and of course it went into the coma and you know he was never the same after that just the contrast that that viewers will see from what who terry was before you know to after is very heartbreaking and yeah the testimonials from his children really do uh, really as you'll see in the episode, what hold a lot of this together in, in terms of their strength and what they had to go through and what they saw and how difficult it was for them. Uh, I think this episode does give a full, just as a totally new perspective on, on, on Terry, you know, and, and what everybody, you know, what he was going through and what the challenges he had and what everybody else did as well. It's a very sad story, but it's also great to be able to spotlight truly one of the best in the ring ever for my money.